In this video, I'm gonna help you get a little bit more distance out the driver, and who doesn't want that? Now, distance comes from a few different ways, but one of the ways we're gonna look at today is hitting up on the ball. Now, many of you will know that hitting up gives you more distance. It's how you maximize the yard that you can achieve with the driver. But very often, we don't consider one important thing, which is the tee, and actually how high you tee the golf ball up. We're gonna explain that in this video using the full swing kit and some data. Have a little look at this golf ball here that I've teed up. I'm gonna hit this with driver. Now, this is extreme. But I just want you to look at how low that ball is teed up, incredibly low. Now, when we tee the ball at different heights, it basically influences our swing. We don't necessarily know it, it's not something we're conscious of, but when we look at a tee height, be it really high or low, it influences what we do. So if I was to hit this ball with my driver, that tee height is influencing my thoughts and it will influence the way that I swing. Now that was not a bad drive at all. I would have that. It's in the fairway, but it was a lowish ball flight. And have a look at the launch angle. Sorry, not the launch angle, the attack angle. So I was hitting down on that ball by 1.6 degrees. I want to hit up on the ball. I want that to be a positive number. But that T height made it incredibly difficult to do that. So what about if I go ahead and tee another ball up, but this time, I'm going to tee it much, much higher. Have a look at that, completely different. If I put the club in, I mean, there's, well, you can probably tell me better than I can, probably half, if not a little bit more of the ball above the top of the club head. So now when I set up, same thing's happening. I'm looking at that tee, it's having an effect on me. I'm going to move a little differently. So because that ball is teed much higher, we should get some different numbers. Now that was a very different ball flight, visibly launched much higher, overall height was much higher. And look at that, attack angle 4.4 degrees up. So did I change anything in my swing? Well, of course I did, because we can see the number of different there, but it wasn't conscious. What I did is I just used the sort of T height to do that. Let me just grab another ball and we're gonna go through a few coaching tips. So the first thing would be, look, I want you to tee that ball high. If you want to hit up on it, if you want to maximise your distance, you've got to get that ball teed nice and high. Don't want it teed super low. That's the starting point. There's still going to be some things you've got to do coaching-wise. So the first thing I want you to do when you set up is take a slightly wider stance. Okay, wider than it would be with a short iron, certainly wider than it would be with a mid iron. And I want the buttons on your shirt or the zip on your top to be pretty much middle of your heels, which leaves them, you know, a good six to eight inches behind the golf ball. This is a great starting point. And what that's doing is it's meaning that the ball is forward of me and I want my hands to be pretty much in line with the club head. This is the starting point. And you'll also notice that because my shoulders are slightly tilted, because my trail hand is lower, my eyes are also slightly tilted. That's really important. Now what I want you to do in the backswing is really feel like you load into this trail leg. That's really important. It's no good if we start to tip this way onto our lead side, we've got to load into our trail leg. So I want you to try this little exercise, take the club, cross your shoulders, and the grip end of the club, I'm gonna try and get above my trail knee. So I'm gonna take this starting position, as I turn up, I'm gonna feel like I get that grip up over my trail leg. This is me winding up into the back swing. I can really feel the pressure on the inside of my leg. The inside of my foot feels heavier. Okay, that's really important. And then from there, we're in a great position where we can launch that ball into the air. It comes on to our final point. In the downswing, the only thought I want you to have is that your belt buckle, you can see mine here, starts to move out from underneath the buttons on your shirt. What do I mean by that? Well, you can see that they're currently lined up. So when I get to the top, I wanna to feel from here that my belt buckle pushes out from underneath the buttons on my shirt. That creates this tilt in my upper body. That, along with everything else we've done, the ball position, the setup, the tee height, gives me the opportunity to launch that ball into the air. And the more you do those things, effectively, the more that attack angle should go up. So let's go ahead and hit one, and we'll see if we can get that attack angle nicely positive. There's my setup. Wind up, push the belt. That was a little slower swing because there's a green keeper on the green. But what did we get? Three degrees. 
If you start to get this number as a positive, three, four, five, that's how you're gonna maximize your distance and get the most out of your drives.